Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Connie Corso. At Saffron! Just like her mother. She really, um, she really lets it. See, and that's why she's getting in trouble. Saffron! She keeps trying to dominate other dogs. And, um... <coughs> And then she's getting, she don't want to tolerate being dominated. She's acting like her mother, Trinity. <clears throat> so Nirvana's making sure she understands that she's the boss. That she's, that she's alpha over her. <clears throat> Jolene, stay out of it. So the thing about it is that Saffron does not feel that Jolene is over her. She's trying to be dominant. You. Saffron. Quit. So the reason that... Um, I gotta keep my eye on her. Jolene. So Jolene's just trying to play. But Saffron's trying to be serious. Um... So anyway, uh, she's coming out here trying to dominate, and the other dogs don't like it. Like she's just being too aggressive about it. I got onto her for getting onto Smurf, and she just wants to come out here and just demand absolute respect right now, which um, she's not going to get. <clears throat> Saffron. Mm. Yeah, she's trying to dominate anyone she can. She's just going to go up and down the line. All right. Now she wants to go in. Today's the first day that she's not gotten out, which I'm appreciative of. Leave her alone. So, um, poor Smurf. Smurf and Turf has been getting beat up on. What's this? Who is this? <laughs> you guys? So that was Saffron trying to dominate Freya. She's really disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Mm. Which I'm kind of surprised by, if I'm being honest. Um... She's not like a puppy, but she's definitely not one of the older females. And normally I don't get this kind of outright dominant behavior. Ah, psh, Roxy, no ma'am. Leave it alone. They pulled up my cloth that goes in the garden. So I've been, I, I mowed out here. I mowed all of my, this field. There's a field over here you can't see, and then this whole field over here. Um, I pulled out the tree that they killed over there, because they did definitely kill a tree. Um, the dog, I think it was actually Tillicum, because he's the only one that's really back there now. I think what I'm going to do um, is create a gate right here. And, and so I want this area, I have to first enclose this area over here off. And then um, I'm going to create a gate here that I can open up. Maybe even like both gate, like like a dual doors that I can just pry apart. And then I can, um, in fact, it would be cool if I could get it wide enough for my truck. Because honestly, I do be driving through here. But anyway, um, important feature being that they would have access to, this, access to that big field there. Which would be pretty cool. Um, and so anyway... Oh, look at that. Look at Jolene. Ooh, she's she's really trying. Look at her. Oh, and Kimchi is not the one. So Kimchi's younger, a little less confident right now, but she's definitely not gonna tolerate no disrespect for long. She don't she's she's like sensible, but you can't push her too far.
All right, so things have calmed down a bit. So Saffron being being to see. So she's be, as soon as she's trying to be disrespectful, Jolene comes in. Jolene is the one monitoring her right now. Saffron comes over, tries being disrespectful. We'll see how long she gets away with this. I don't I don't know where Nirvana's at right now. But Jolene is really watching her right now. And Ibiza. It's Ibiza's bald booty. I swear, dude, I've got some bald booties around here. Some of these dogs, man. They're just shedding out. Carrie's getting big. I did ultrasound her and she was very pregnant, so. Um, so I already had a feeling that, that I was going to see that. Oh, there we go. Ah! Leave her alone. Saffron! Out! Boy, poor Smurf. They really tried to get onto her. Smurf and Turf, watch out! She's so scuffed up and beat up and just... She's one of them ones that's going to be bare, too. I can tell. Every time I start working with that real old, old Darium stuff, I get some... Hey, Nirvana, get out now! Nirvana was dominating Mona. Poor baby Mona. No! You were bad. Ah, ah, ah. Off of her. Smurf be really trying to get everybody to follow her too, though. I'm glad to see that at least Hibiz is not limping anymore. That was that was a whole moment. What are they doing to my to my tree over there? Can I help you, Blondie? Hello, sweet baby. Hey, you guys go lay down. Leave her alone. Saffron, go away. Saffron's just trying to dominate everyone she can. She's just going dog to dog to dog, dominating. Dog to dog to dog. It's Carrie and, um, and Ibiza. They're very similar dogs. Um, you can tell they're sisters. You can also see why Ibiza has the hair loss. It's not like, I won't say hair loss, but she's got thin hair. It's because she doesn't have the double coat. For some reason, a lot of times when these Corso don't have a double coat, they end up with just bare, bare thighs. Like the underside. Give me my glove. Um. But anyway. Um. Melina, uh, Melina has it and her hair it did grow in better once she had had her first litter and now she's got a really luscious you know coat but for some reason it um, it took a while to to fully come in so I've seen it I've talked to my with my mentor about it back when Melina had it and um, and so it's like not a, you know we're not worried about it because it was, it's pretty common in a lot of... The, it was very common in the older stuff. Now, a lot of people haven't been using it. But, you know, I've got some pretty old lines here in a lot of my stuff. <clears throat> There's Remy not putting up with nothing. So her and Remy and Vienna have the same have the same mother, which is Mona. And I find their heads to be very similar. 
I got some pretty pointy muzzles out of Mona on her first two litters. And then when I put her to Batista, I got some really good heads. So hoping to hoping to continue that. Ooh, and then Mad Mortigan too. I got a mix of both with him. Hmm. Well, everybody's chilled out for the most part. Bella Rose and and uh, Remy hanging out. Mona over there, hopefully pregnant. Mona Lisa, sweet baby Mona. <laughs> Tell me how she already looks pregnant. She's probably just fat, but I'm hoping that she's got a big old a big old fat litter in there for me, like her first one. Her first litter. She had like, gosh, what was it, like nine or something like that? She had a lot. Maybe even ten. But the ones after that haven't been very big. And um, sometimes that's just timing. And the females can be a little too persuasive before they're ready. And the males will acquiesce. And... Um, and not all the eggs will be mature, and then once that once once the ones that are mature are fertilized, the rest of them don't fertilize, so you end up with a smaller litter. Which is why a lot of people will do like progesterone testing to ensure that they're that they're hitting right at the right time. Um, but what I did is I just made sure not to have her in there with Batista. I brought her out um, and just kind of judged his response. Um, maybe, um, maybe I'll have Hey, get butt, get your butt down, you bad dog. What did you do? <sighs> I told you guys, can't have nothing nice. Can't have nothing nice with a Corso. Get out. Knocked over my rose. Bad dog. Hmm, that would have been the second rose that they took out today. Because they already took out the one over there, completely knocked it down. Get out! Go! He can't get to the rest of them. Go! You get! Go! Bad dogs. And you're a bad dog, I'm pretty sure it was you. You're all a bunch of bad dogs. Hmm. What's in your eyeballs? We got gooky eyeballs. Who's being so Look at you. She's like a blue gremlin. Well. It's a beautiful day, but it is starting to warm up a little bit. Oh. I better get back to it. I wanted to get... If you don't lean on me, thank you very much. You are not light. Um, anyway, I gotta get I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna try to... Um, I don't know yet. I'm not, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do, but I gotta do work. I know I need to clean... What? What do we got over here? Okay. I need to clean this area up here a bit. Um... Um, but I've also got to take some kennels down and I got to set I got a lot of work to do a lot of work to do uh, I got to move all them dog houses <sighs> gonna have a heart attack just standing here thinking about all the work I got to do anyway I hope y'all are having a good day I'm gonna get all these girls all these whamming inside so that I can um get back to work <laughs> so talk to y'all laters bye